welcome back to my channel this video is gonna be my top three favorite products from every category yikes this is a little bit different from what I've done recently on my channel but like you know as you know I have a pretty large collection I do lay down at night sometimes and wonder think about items that I have in my collection that I missed that I haven't used in a long time so <laughs> here we go we're here my top three favorites from every category um, I do have a pretty large collection so choosing three items in certain categories was a little bit difficult some categories I have more than three items and I try to include the uh, high-end and drugstore um, so it's not just all high-end or all drugstore I do have some categories where just I could not pick three products so um, I went with whatever I have you know my actual favorites if you like these types of videos, please make sure to give this one a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below and I'll start filming my favorites videos a little bit more often. And please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Let's go ahead and get started. Three, my top three items in every category. We'll start with primer, foundation, concealer, and so on. This was rough, you guys. I've been preparing for this one for quite a while. Um, I had just been thinking about it and I really, I like these types of videos. I like to know what people typically reach for out of their collection to use what their favorites are. I do wanna apologize in advance a lot of my items are probably higher end. I don't have that many uh, drugstore items that made it to the favorites mainly because most of my collection is higher end uh, but we'll see we have some favorite brands for sure I did not realize that until I put everything together we'll start with primers like I said I do have three primers um well okay <laughs> I have four primers but the way I justified it is one of these primers that I selected is more of a skincare item. So the first one I have is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love, love, love this product. I love the smell of it. I love how creamy it is. I love how hydrating it is on my skin. It just feels absolutely amazing. Um, if I have pretty dry patches on my skin, um, I would apply this before I use my, before I apply my makeup and gee, God, it just feels so, so good. Um, so justified it by it being a, a skincare item, not a primer. So the other primers, the actual primers that I chose are one of them. I probably already thought that this would be in this video. If you watch my videos in general, uh, Smashbox, the mindful five. This is an amazing, amazing nourishing primer. Um, it is a primer serum, so you know, you could use it and use a different primer on top of it. I feel like I don't need to do that. Like if I primed my face with a primer mist and then I use this guy, my skin looks absolutely stunning. Another one that's very similar and it's a recent find for me, I tried it not that long ago and I actually really, really liked it, is the Thorn Oil Priming Facial Elixir. And this is from Re Ritual the Feel. I picked this guy up from Ulta. I probably should have picked it up during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty and I always just skipped. I didn't do it then, so I picked that up around the holidays. Oh my god, you guys, this thing, I, I feel like this is the Smashbox with a little bit more glow, a little bit more on the oiliness, where the Smashbox is kind of like, um, so hard to explain like the, they're, they're very very similar this is just a little bit more like that oily feel this is like that serum feel not that it's oily that it's gonna disturb your makeup or anything like that no it's just like when you apply it you feel like you're putting oil on and then at the you know once you're it's applied and blended into the skin it just feels absolutely amazing and it is tinted a little bit red but when you apply it on the skin like you don't get that tint I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can like show you how it blends but this guy oh i am here so it feels a little bit like a oil where the smashbox feels a little bit more like a um like a serum you know like a like a hydrating serum like a hyaluronic acid or something like that so this feels like an oil but then when it blends in it's just it's just that it's not greasy nothing like that it's so beautiful and makes my skin looks absolutely amazing super glowy under foundation 
Now for a drugstore primer, and not necessarily that I wanted higher ends and drugstores, I was just like, okay, these are my favorite primers. This has happened to be a drugstore and the other ones were high end. This is the ELF Power Grip Primer plus 4% niacinamide. I do like all of the, uh, like these primers from uh, ELF. I like their regular, um, uh, like the watermelon one. I like the green, the just the power grip. This one has nia niacinamide, so it's a little bit more glowy. It feels a little bit more hydrating. It is still tacky, but it feels slightly a little bit more um, hydrating <laughs> under foundations. Like that's the word that you're gonna keep hearing today. I just love glowy skin. Anything that makes my skin look glowy, I'm all for it. So this one really really nice again it does have that grippiness to it um it feels grippy when you apply it it feels tacky on the skin but nonetheless it's a beautiful primer all right for next category we have foundations i do have some favorites in foundations and i tried to split this category also into two sections one would be normal foundations and one would be glowy foundations <laughs> because we needed that I needed that or more like an illuminator glowy foundation okay let's start with normal foundations I'm a fan of light to medium max medium coverage foundation I prefer the more sheer the more light but I also would like a foundation that I can build up and my first favorite would be the forever um, skin glow by Dior this just looks absolutely stunning on the skin it looks super duper healthy i'm not wearing this one today i'm wearing different uh product that i'll just talk about in a little bit but this guy it's so beautiful one pump and i can get coverage all over my face if i really wanted to pull it up to a medium coverage two pumps and just works wonderful the shade that i have in this one is the shade 2n um, another foundation that I discovered recently and I kind of did not want to stop using it um, but the shade is a little bit deep for me this is the house labs triclone skin tech foundation I feel like this one is also on the natural um, side like it looks super natural satiny on the skin it's not super glowy but it just looks so beautiful this is definitely a more of a medium coverage foundation so um like if i really really want medium coverage i could even build it up to a full coverage which i never do i will reach for, reach for this guy now for a product that's also it is from the drugstore but kind of like pretty pricey reasons drugstore prices are went up a little bit this is the l'oreal true match nude hyaluronic tinted tinted serum and i have the shade three to four light medium this is not a serum by any means this is more like a light coverage foundation you can even build this up to like a little bit to medium coverage but it does have that glowiness to it it's really really pretty i i really like it i kind of do hate the dropper on here because like yeah i hate the dropper on it i th i think i'm gonna have to use one of the airless pump things i do have a backup i do have one of them so i think i'm gonna have to change that dropper i hate its dropper okay now for like a glow illuminator foundation thing because i do use these under foundation and an in lieu of foundation if i just want glow face uh charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter um, I have the shade 3. I love this. I do use it again as a primer. I use it as an under foundation illuminator. I use it all by itself just as a foundation. I do really really like it and then I gotta, I gotta give it to e.l.f. with the Halo um, Glow Liquid Filter um, booster thing. Um, these are more than a booster. These have a little bit more color than the um, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, the shade range on here I I have not been able to find one shade that matches me pretty well where with the Charlotte Tilbury shade 3 it's a pretty good match for me but from e.l.f. I have to combine shade 2 and shade 3 shade 2 is a little bit too yellow shade 3 is a little too pink but together they look really 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 good and this is the foundation I'm wearing today um, I did wear it as a foundation it's so pretty it's definitely a light coverage i can get a little bit more from it than the lighter coverage but it's more coverage than the charlotte tilbury we'll just say that okay um moving on to concealers ah concealers my apps 
absolute, absolute favorite out of my entire collection. If I had to choose one concealer and that's the only concealer that I will use, I'm not going to make a rash statement here and say for the rest of my life, but it is one of my absolute favorite concealers is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's so easy to blend. It looks so natural on the skin. Um, I get the coverage that I need from it. I um, It's hydrating. It's not like cracky under my eyes or anything like that. And I could use this guy as an all over like foundation thing. I'll spot um, spot use it and just blend it out and I don't need to go in on another foundation. The shade that I use is shade medium one custard and it's perfect. All right, moving on. The second concealer that I'm absolutely obsessed with, Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. And I do have the shade 215 Buff, neutral, I believe. Uh, this looks so pretty on the skin. There's a ton of product in here. This is 13 mil. It blends super easily. I can also get away with using this sparingly all over my face, just super lightly blend it out. And just that would be kind of like my foundation. Um, I do have two more concealers that I do want to talk about. One is by Dior. See, I'm telling you, sometimes it's just like I could not resist. I had to go to more than three items. Um, Dior Forever Skin Correct. This guy, you guys, is beautiful. It is fuller coverage. I would say it's more full coverage than the NARS. Although, although with the NARS, you can kind of, you know, get away with it. It's This is a lit little tiny bit more um, fuller coverage than the NARS. It is not as creamy as the NARS concealer, but it looks so beautiful under my eyes. Now for a drugstore concealer, and this is, I, I kind of slept on it. Um, I haven't been using it and I didn't think about it until I was like, oh, that one. LA Girl, the Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer the amount of shades that they have out of this guy is phenomenal. You can get one of these for concealing under the eyes. You can use them. Um, they have some color correctors. They have some, they're a little bit deeper. If you like to contour with like a concealer, I, I really, really nice concealer. Again, I haven't been using it. I don't know why it kind of like it used to be a favorite and I used to be really obsessed with it but recently I haven't used it because I do have others that I also really like and I reach for um, this is super creamy under the eye it is so easy to blend definitely a medium coverage you can go light with it but you can easily get a medium coverage with this guy and the price and the shade range can't beat it all right, let's move on. How about we talk about bronzers? Wait, before we go ahead and talk about bronzers, let's talk about powders. Powders. I selected two powders and then two setting powders. <laughs> two setting powders and two finishing powders. Hey, I, I, you know, it's my video, they're my rules. Um, Nikia Joy Cosmetics, this is the Velvet Finishing Powder. That's all I gotta say. This is so, so, so pretty on the skin. It looks absolutely amazing. You do get 20 grams in here, so it's, you know, it's a pretty good amount of powder. Um, I love it. I absolutely love this powder. I've purchased one for my, for one friend. I purchased another one for my other friend. They had to have it. So that is a given. A powder that really, really surprised me, and again, this is a powder that I picked up around the holidays because they had the holiday version of it, and I missed out the holiday version, so I ended up getting a normal version. Doesn't really matter, but this is the Prism Libre by Givenchy, and I have the shade 3 Val Rosé. You guys, I, got, I get the hype. I get it. This looks amazing on my skin. When I first used it, I was like, ah. Oh, God, this is matte. I hate matte powder. I don't like the matte look at all, but I applied it and I was patient. And then I used my setting spray and the way that it just blended into my skin, brightened under my eye, like my face looked healthy with this guy. It's not as blurring or velvety as the Nikia Joy is, but it's more like, just makes your face look alive 
is what I what I can say about it and you do get a quite a bit of product in here there's four different sections there are three grams each so 12 gram total now for a finishing powder I have two favorites they've been my favorite for years I can't see myself not purchasing them again or not using them the first one would be the hourglass ambient lighting powder in the shade is luminous light I love it I absolutely love this finishing powder it's super glowy very illuminating more illuminating than the second favorite of mine which is Laura Mercier and this is the candle glow sheer perfecting powder um, I have two shades I have the shade 2 and the shade 1 um, I use the shade 2 more for um, a finishing powder and if I do want to use it as a setting powder, I would use the shade one. This is not as illuminating as the hourglass powder is, but still, it looks so beautiful on the skin. Very similar to the hourglass, but again, not as illuminating. Okay, now let's talk about bronzers. Okay, I have two pressed bronzers, powder bronzers, and then two creams. Um, my powder bronzers, I don't know. I, I, I'm telling you, I've had some brands this year, and, and you'll see as we get along, as we go along. There are some brands that are just kind of like my brands. House Labs, ooh, this bronzer, you guys, what do they call it? This is the Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. And I do have the shade Light Level 4. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It has a little bit of a glowiness to it. It just looks so pretty. I did not want to stop using it. Um, I went through a, a stage where just like this was the only bronzer I wanted to use. And it's so pretty. I do have that primer on my hand. So I feel like now my bronzer is gripping for sure. Uh, my second bronzer this is by Nabla this is a little bit deeper a little bit more on the reddish side so I can use this one more when I'm like freshly suntanned like actual suntan been in the sun for a little while and this is the skin bronzing sunkist effect bronzing powder in the shade that I have is Dune. It is glowy, not as glowy as the um the House Labs one is, but it is like it does have a nice glow to it. See it's a little bit darker on me right now. Again, I do have a primer on my hand so my swatches are really intense. Um, but it's so so pretty. I do have other products from Nabla like I do have um there are highlights that I do use as a highlighters and bron and blushes. I do really like them. They just did not make it to the favorites. Okay, cream bronzers. NARS Laguna, the original. Except I had to purchase it during the re-release. It wasn't the original original. This is so pretty. I like the formula of it a lot. It does not stay... I, I want to touch it, but I don't want to stab it. It does not stay super creamy or tacky and it blends like a dream. There it is over here. And then uh, the second cream bronzer that I am really, really loving and I did use it today is by e.l.f. e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I love the formula. I love that it's cream to powder or putty to powder. And the shade that I do have is Golden Days. Again, this is the one bronzer I'm wearing today. I felt like it blended so easily. I do have a um, like that uh, putty primer brush that e.l.f. sells. I, I actually don't use it for a primer. I use it for this and it just, it just works amazing. Let me see if I can do a little swatch. It just immediately from cream to a powder immediately let's go ahead and move on to blushes you guys don't don't hate please don't hate okay and i really am sorry but my absolute absolute favorite blush from my entire collection drum roll please because i know some people know what it is it is sicily paris oh, lorchid coral 3 this is my blush like this is this is just my blush that's all i gotta say if i want to feel good about myself if i want my skin to look healthy if i want to feel healthy and just look glowy this is my blush like this is the one i will reach for and the price tag on this thing is 
it's pretty high up there but to be honest I've been using it for a long 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 time um, the formula of it is so nice that it's like there's no kick up like absolutely no kick up see no kick up at all but the product itself and like I know swatch doesn't do it justice let me try it again let me try that again Maybe I shouldn't have cleaned the primer off my hand. There it is. It looks so beautiful on the skin, you guys. The formula is amazing. I don't feel like I've made it, any little dent in it. Um, again, I'm sorry for the price tag, but this is my blush. Okay, let's move on. More blushes. One that is just, um, it goes with everything. This is by Pamigrat Labs, and this is in the shade Desert Orchid. This is that like neutral blush that satiny that just again makes you feel good this is it another blush this is a little bit more I feel like this swatch is a little bit better it's definitely more like nude neutral than the Sicily um, orchid blush but it's so pretty all right, and then the last blush that is a favorite, and again, I'm really sorry for the price tag. That would be a Tom Ford blush. This is the Shade and Illuminate blush, and I have a couple shades. Um, I have actually just two shades. I need to pick up more shades. Um, I have this shade, which is the Cherry Blaze, and this is the one that I'll probably reach more for now that spring and summer is coming. Again, it's just that peachy side, the neutral side, blending both of it together, stunning. And the formula, you guys, the formula is so, so creamy. Here we go. Oh, I did not do a very good swatch there. The other shade that I do have from this Tom Ford blush is also really pretty, but I just reach for this one a little bit more. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay. Well, I do have a cream blush category as well, just because I, I do really like cream bronzers and cream blushes. I don't hardly use cream highlights. I'm not a big fan. For the cream blushes, I do have basically two two different brands. Um, Elf, we have the Putty Blush and I have the Luminous Putty Blush. I don't enjoy the Luminous Putty Blush as much as I like the normal one. I find that the Luminous one is a little bit... Um, it doesn't turn uh, from putty to powder as easily as the normal putty blush does. The putty blush that I do have is in the shade Turks and Caicos. <clears throat> Here's Turks and Caicos. Again, it has that same formula as the bronzer. So it's like putty to a uh, powder. And then the luminous one, which is the one I'm wearing today, the shade that I do have is Isla del Sol. Um, this, again, it stays a little bit more um, creamy. It does not turn into powder as quickly or as easily as the other one does but look at that beautiful shade oh so pretty <clears throat> are we seeing a trend here there's quite a bit of elf um and then the last or the, the second cream blush that i do really enjoy i do have multiple shades from this brand from this specific blush but i tried to i reached for the shade that I could always wear you know I don't have to worry about like okay what do I have on my eyes is it winter is it summer what am I doing this one I can always always wear and they had changed the packaging since I purchased this one this is in the shade Beverly Hills and this is by Merit did I even say what it is this is Merit this is the cheek color the shade is Beverly Hills this is definitely a neutrally shade like this is a neutral shade that I can always wear they blend so easily, these um, blushes from Merit. So pretty on the skin. All right, let's move on to highlighters. Highlighters, I actually have four highlighters and yeah, I just have four highlighters. My absolute favorite, well, can I say my absolute, I cannot say my absolute favorite. It depends on what I'm wearing, it depends on the mood. But a favorite, well, all of these are the favorites. Come on, Rania. 
Uh, Bobbi Brown Luxe Illuminating Powder in the shade in Golden Hour. This is so pretty. I do have a pen in it. Um, it is so beautiful. I am wearing it today. I love this highlighter, you guys. I really, really do. The, she released this one. I'm pretty sure she has the same shade, um, just not the holiday uh, packaging. It's so pretty, like really, really pretty. It's like a day where I'm like, oh, what am I gonna wear for a highlighter? I would reach for that because it would go with anything else that I really wanna wear. Two more highlights, one by Pat McGrath, actually three more highlights. Pat McGrath, um, Divine Rose Skin Fetish Ultra Glow Highlighter. This is so gorgeous, you guys. This is more on that pink side, but here we go, let's do it. Let's do a swatch. There's that. Not as like blinding, but it's just so pretty. It does not emphasize any texture on the skin. The same with the Bobbi Brown one. They're not so blinding where like you would see every little texture I have, but they just look absolutely stunning. House Labs. <laughs> they're their favorite brands. I, I, I really did not realize it until I collected everything and I was like, hmm, interesting. Um, House Labs, this is the Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter and I have the shade Peach Quartz. This is, reminds me of the uh, Pat McGrath highlighter, like kind of formula wise. See that? It's uh, this one. Okay, and then the last highlighter that I just absolutely love, I don't know if this is considered a drugstore, high end or what, but this is by IBY Beauty and the shade is Private Jet. I actually received this in an Ipsy uh, quite a long time ago, but oh my gosh, it, the shade is just, Stunning. Um, I find that with this one, with the IBY, I can really get it a lot more intense if I use a, you know, a specific brush than I can get the other highlights. I'm pretty sure I can get them all more intense like if I wet my brush or something. But this one, if I want some little bit more intense but still looks very naturalish, you know, I would reach for this guy. Okay, coming up, let's go ahead and talk about eyeshadow palettes. This was so hard, but I tried to think of it as like, okay, if I'm rushing out of the door, which eyeshadow palette am I absolutely gonna grab for? And I know that it just looks stunning. I have two, and then I have three others. <laughs> um, I have 140 eyeshadow palettes into my in my collection. I could not choose just three. Okay, we'll talk about the first one first because this would be the palette that I actually have a backup of. And this is the only eye well, not the only. I have two eyeshadow palettes. This one and a different one that I have a backup of. But this one, you guys, I I'm obsessed. I am absolutely obsessed. You know when I'm obsessed when I have a pan in an eyeshadow. A pan. Like really? A pan. Um, I don't like pans in my eyeshadow palettes. I don't like to see the, the little hole in them. But this palette is just, she just speaks to me. This is Pat McGrath. Um, and the name of this one is Venus and Fleur, the vo voyeuristic vixen. It is so pretty. I can easily just use the matte shade in my crease and then all over the lid and top it with this shade. And then I can call it a day. The highlighting shade that is in here, oops, sorry. The highlighting shade that is in here is so pretty in the inner corner and under the brow bone. Um, this shade over here, which looks kind of like, is it orange, is it gold, what is it? It's such a beautiful eye topper. I love it. I really, really, really love this palette. I'm 
pissed off that she has not brought it back in this packaging. She brought it back during, um, um, uh, what is it called? Maybe it was the Chinese New Year collection, but the pans were smaller. It was in a red packaging. It wasn't the same size. The other eyeshadow palette that is just really pretty and it's just easy, you know, it's easy. It's a favorite. I travel with it as, and I do travel with the other one, but this one is just like, it's just everything I need all in one palette. This is by NARS. This is the unwrapped mini eyeshadow palette and the shade that I have is Laguna. They released these during the holidays, not past holiday, the holiday before they had three of them. I only grabbed the Laguna. I probably should have picked up the other two shades, but this is stunning, you guys. I love the two neutrals that are in here. The two, I mean, sorry, the two mattes that are in here. The satiny shade here in the middle is just so pretty all over the lid. All of the other shades, like even this this satiny shade is so pretty all over the lid. The two kind of more glittery topper shades are really pretty in just like the inner corner. It's a beautiful palette. Now, a palette that I even after all these years since I've had it, I still really, really like it. Um, I use it if I'm doing makeup for my friends. I use it if I just want a neutral look for myself. And I know it's going to look so good. It's the Soft Clam by ABH. I do have quite a few dents in here. I, I do reach for this palette quite a bit. Before I owned these two, the Pat McGrath and the NARS, this used to be my travel palette. Because it's so easy to create a work look. And then if I really want to, I can deepen it up easily. It's a beautiful palette and I do really like the ABH formula. Um, let's go ahead and talk about two other palettes just because they, I love them. I absolutely love them. Um, and they're both by Pat McGrath. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I just, I told you, there are favorite brands, like evidently favorite brands. My absolute favorite Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette would be the Mothership um, five bronze seduction. This actually was my first Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette, and to this day, I I just she has a place in my heart. I love her. I love her with all of my heart. So so pretty. I love it for the holiday season. I love it all around. It's just a beautiful palette. It's got my neutrals. It's got my topper shades. Sorry, I'm like, where's my left? Where's my right? It's got my topper shades. I love this palette. And now uh, the other Pat McGrath palette, this was a hard choice. I could not decide between uh, this one and the Divine Rose 2. I ended up going with the Mothership 9, the Utopian Dreams. This is like girly dreams come true kind of thing. Um, again, this is a palette that I would use for my friends if they have an occasion, if they want to go out somewhere. And you can really tell because there's, you know, fingerprints and dents and everything in between in this palette. It is so, so pretty. I, I love it. I really, really like it. I remember when I picked it up, I was at Sephora with my son. We swatched it and my son was like, Mommy, you need this. Mommy, you need this. Um, so yeah, she is definitely a favorite. All right, moving on. Um, I did talk about an eyeshadow primer. Uh, the only one that I've been using for quite some time has been the MAC Paint Pot. Once I'm done with it, I want to venture out and try some other eyeshadow primers. Um, I, I'm starting to feel like it's kind of drying for my eyes. Maybe because I'm aging, maybe because I'm not using my eye cream every single day. I don't know why. Um, but that's the only one I have been using. We'll talk about eyeliners real quick and then we'll talk about brows, mascaras, and then we'll do lippies and setting sprays at the end. For eyeliners, I have two. I only have two. Um, the first one is the Pat McGrath Labs. This is her liquid liner. It is a velvet, um, is it velvet? Is that the word? Yeah. Velvet tip? Felt tip. Felt tip. I think it's felt tip. Anyway, it's not a brush. It's a felt tip liner. It's a little bit on the bigger side, but it is stiff. So it is kind of easy for me to just get exactly on the line. It's easy for me to just 
stamp it to kind of make a wing here, stamp it to make a wing, and then just connect it. I'm not very good at making a wing liner, so this helps out quite a bit. The other eyeliner, and I do tend to use these more pencil liners. This was from MAC. I do love the shade of it, and this is in the shade Stubborn Brown. This is the PowerPoint eye pencil. I can put these in my waterline. They do not smudge on my contacts, which is a big thing with pencil liners. They do not transfer. I can tight line with it. I, I, I like it. I like it quite a bit. Um, for brows, I only have two products. One would be ABH Brow Wiz. This has been a favorite of mine for a few years. I haven't been using the one I have because it's a little bit dark. This is in the shade Dark Brown. I did actually use it very lightly today. I felt like my hair has grown enough where I can get away with it. Um, and this is like the um, that fine tip. It's not the triangular pencil. It's the super skinny tip. And then for brow setter, I discovered this recently again as well. This is by M Cosmetics. This is the Micro Fluff Sculpting Brow Cream and the shade that I have is Classic Brunette. I love this product. I love, 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 love the spoolie. It is so tiny. I can easily brush my brows in it with it and it just distributes perfectly. I do want to pick it up in a lighter shade. Um, yeah, I'm really happy I discovered this. It does hold my brows without the crunchiness. It gives them a little bit of a, you know, not the laminated, but gives them the fluffy brows. Okay, for mascaras, I have three mascaras. I tried to really narrow it down to three, and these would be the three that I've repurchased like a lot. Um, the first one is by Lottie London, and this is a super fake something mascara. Um, this is extremely volumizing. It, the, the brush on it is very thin. Doesn't have very long bristles. And I believe, I haven't tried the uh, Pillow Talk mascara from Charlotte Tilbury, but I've heard this, this was a dupe for it. I love it. Like I can easily do just one coat and then use a different mascara and I can be done. And like, this is the lashes that I got with it. The other favorite mascara is by Pam McGrath Labs. You guys, I love both of her mascaras. <laughs> the Fetish Eyes is the one that I've purchased more often. I layered these two today and I just love them. I love it. And then the last favorite, I'm not gonna open it because I have a couple that are open, but I have backups and this is the Lancome Hypnos Drama. Um, that's that curvy brush. This makes my lashes look like I'm wearing wispy lashes. It just separates them so beautifully. They look so fluttery. They look amazing. Okay, we got two more categories to go through or a little bit more. Um, why don't we talk about lip products? We'll start with lip liners and yeah, let's talk about them. For lip liners, their drugstore, I have three favorites. Uh, LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intense Stay Auto Liner. I have multiples of these in my collection, but these two shades I reach for the most. One is in the shade Relentless Red and one is in the shade Nonstop Nude. Super creamy, they are twist up, um, they're super affordable. Uh, the, the lip liner does not break when you're applying it, unlike like some other high-end brands. I'm not gonna talk about anyone, but those of colors comes to mind. They just break, 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 break. At the end of the day, you're just left with no lip liner. These super creamy, really easy to apply. And then the one by Milani, this is the color statement lip liner. I do like this one if I wanted a little bit more of a contoury look to the lips, because it is a little bit darker. The shade is Spice. This is a sharpening lip liner, unlike the other ones where I twist up, but it's extremely creamy as well. Okay, for lip crayons, like, or kind of like, you know, lippy pencils. Um, a favorite, and it's been a favorite for many, many years now, NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Cruella. Do we even need to say more? This is my perfect red. Well, I have a lot of perfect reds. This is a beautiful red. Um, another discovery, again, both of these are recent, but I found the Freck, um, yeah, Freck Makeout Club Soft Blur Lipstick and the shade that I have is Rust. This is so pretty, you guys. 
like this is absolutely stunning it's a beautiful burnt red color and the formula is super nice too it doesn't feel irritating on the lips and another lip crayon i'm calling it a lip crayon this is a maracuja juicy lip um, by Tarte and I have the one that's clear. I do really want to try this in other shades. Um, this is just clear but it felt amazing on the lips that I had to include it in the lip crayon category. It couldn't go in the lip, you know, treatment category. Lip crayon category. Okay, let's talk about liquid lips. For liquid lips, I only picked out two that I just love and they're both red. One is more of a, like a fuchsia. This is by Milani. This is the um lip cream and the shade is amore or amore matte and the shade is amore this is such a beautiful 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 color you guys look at it look at it it's so pretty and then my other liquid lip that i was like oh my god this is so pretty this is by dior and this is the rouge dior forever liquid and i have the shade 626 i can't tell exactly what the shade name is because i know they have different names other than the numbers it's not actually written on here but let me go ahead and swatch this this is more of a um not a blue tone but not rusty um liquid lip it's just like in between this would be more like the most vampy red lip that I would wear. Again, it is so comfortable on the lip, even as being a liquid lip, super comfortable, lasts forever. Okay, and my hand is officially stained, but we're gonna keep we're gonna keep chugging along. We're almost done. Um, I have bullet lipsticks and I have lip um, lip glosses, uh, and I do have lip treatments somewhere. Where did I put them? Right there. Okay, for bullet lipsticks, I'm so mad that this was just kind of like a, this was a limited edition collab. Um, Pat McGrath with Bridgerton, that, the second release. This is the Satin Allure lipstick in the shade is Negligee. This is so pretty. I kept the box. The, the tube itself is so pretty. It's just cute. Um, mine is damaged, kind of stuck stabbed it into the tube but this is such a beautiful everyday color and it feels super nice it's a creamy super creamy color or super creamy lipstick <laughs> two more lipsticks pat mcgrath again for a nude she came through with the matte trance the shade christy i'm wearing this today with the la girl lip liner in uh is it uh relentless what is it non-stop nude so this is the lipstick i'm wearing on top of that lip liner it's you can tell it's definitely more neutral um than uh or a little bit more nude than negligee this is a matte one but it's it's my perfect my perfect perfect nude lipstick and lastly for lipstick one stefani yes original me original recipe lipstick is a red that does not go anywhere. I had this baby on. It's a matte. It's like super matte. I had this guy on with the LA Girl uh, lip liner in the shade Relentless Red. I had it on and I went out to dinner with my husband. We ate, we had drinks, you know, kissed and all that. It did not move. And the shade, mm, just the perfect, perfect cool tone red. Okay, for um, lip glosses, I have a lot of favorite for lip glosses. I only, I'm gonna talk about these just because the, it's more like the brand than the actual shades themselves. Um, Tower 28 and Rare Beauty, uh, I love their glosses. Tower 28, the two that I pulled in today, one is by Co the shade Coconut and one is Cashew. I did put top um, my uh, uh, bullet lipstick with the shade Cashew. These are so, so pretty. And then the Rare Beauty, this is called The Balm and the shade is Nearly Mauve. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them. They are just so creamy. I know it says like a balm, but I use it as a lip gloss, nearly mauve. I did use up one of these last year in the shade Nearly Apricot. Here's Tower 28 in the shade Coconut. 
My hand is a little bit stained, so please forgive me. And then the last one is the shade Cashew. And again, like I just pulled these because I just, I opened my doors, I'm like, oh, these are definitely it. I, I like most of the shades that I've tried from the brands. There it is. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about uh, lip treatments, lip oil kind of thing. I have two products only, House Labs. This is the PHD Hybrid Lip Oil. I have it in a couple shades. This is in the shade Neutral, which is the clear. I just love it, super hydrating. And then we have Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, and this is in Vanilla Beige. This actually is super, super, super hydrating, nourishing, when my lips are extremely extremely cracked i apply this at first it kind of like has that tingly but then that goes away but um or not tingly like the mintiness but that kind of goes away and it actually works it helps my lips quite a bit and then the last thing we're gonna talk about setting sprays i am gonna have some mentions for primer mists. I probably should have included them in the primers. Smashbox Primer Water, my ride or die. I don't care what scent it is. I love them. And Elf Coconut Mist. Um, this is specifically the collab with Jen Atkins and they called it Mist Me. I have it in a whole other different color bottle, blue bottle. It is just a coconut mist from e.l.f. that I just love. I love it as a primer mist. I love it straight out of the shower. Just, it's beautiful. It, it just makes my skin so happy. For setting sprays, um, I have three. <laughs> I did not want to go ahead and talk about Urban Decay All Nighter because we all know that's a good one, but I do want to talk about these two. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. If you want your, your makeup to last hours and hours and hours and hours, this is it. As soon as you apply it, like as soon as I spritz it, I feel like my face is being sucked in. And then, you know, when it's dry, it's just kind of relaxes, but I feel it like pushing everything in. And then the other one is Milani Make It Last. Again, this is a beautiful one. This does give me a little bit of a glowiness. It's not as um, kind of like mattifying, but it's not really matte. But I look a little bit more glowy with this one. I am wearing this one today. I did use it. I, I used a different scent, like one of the scented ones though. And then the last setting spray, and just because I love to glow, it's definitely not something I would use every day, depends on the occasion and the day, is by Iconic London. This is the Prep Set Glow in the shade is original. Um, this is so pretty, you guys. And the actual setting spray, like the power of the, like the, 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 the setting ability of it is there. Not just the glowiness, it looks so pretty on the skin. Um, but again, it's not something that I would reach for on every day. It just, it has its own time and I reach for it. Wow, I think this was such a long video, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did again, please make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what are your favorites out of your collection. Or did I talk about some products you're like, eh, I can't believe that's a favorite of yours. Or, you know, or like, oh yeah, I actually do really like that product. Do you have favorite brands? I discovered my favorite brands, Elf, Pat McGrath, House Labs, some Smashboxes, but these three, I have a lot of products from these three brands. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.